So the players already on court for the next final, which is women's singles. The left-handed uh, Sayaka Sato of Japan against the number five seed Sungji Hyung of Korea. Seven years ago, Sayaka Sato became the first player from Japan to contest a Super Series women's singles final. There have been seven different players from Japan since then to have contested a women's singles final at Super Series level. Uh, but this is only her second final herself, Sato. Beset with so many injury problems over the years, it is absolutely wonderful to see her back at this very, very elite level. Seven years ago in the final, she lost to Sina Nawal in three thrilling games. She's 17 in the world ranking at the moment, the 26-year-old from Miyagi in Tohoku region of Honshu. Has been as high as 12, as you saw, and she has beaten two seeded players and has been pushed the full distance on three occasions. The last three matches, first round victory over the number seven seed, Herbing Jiao. And then in the quarterfinal against the number three seed, Akane Yamaguchi, her teammate. And yesterday against Jindapon, uh, she was a game and 6-11 down, but came back to win in an hour and 19 minutes. So Sungji Hyung, the number five seed, will, I believe, go back to number two on the world ranking, whether she wins or loses today's final. Currently number five, as you can see. And she was a semi-finalist here back in 2012, but this is her first final at this event. It's been almost two years since she last won a Super Series title, but this is her eighth Super Series final in total. Now, in the quarterfinal, she beat Chen Xiaoxin, who in the very first round had uh, beaten the reigning world and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin. As you can see, she hasn't played against any other seeded players. Semi-final yesterday, three games against Chang Bei Wen. Um, for Sung Ji Hyung, well, it is 22 years player. since a player from her country last contested the women's singles final here at the Indonesian Open. And if you're a Japanese fan, that's a little ominous because this is the 14th meeting between the two players. And of the previous 13, Sung Ji Hyung has won 12 of them, including the last six. Well, the last time they met, it was an hour and 24 minutes for three game victory for Sung Ji Hyung. That was in the quarterfinal of last year's Asian Championships in Wuhan. So Pinda Sabawal of India is our umpire for this one. Philip Chi from US of A is our service judge. Oh, that thing. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sung Jae Yoon, Korea. And on my left, Sayaka Sato, Japan. Sung Jae Yoon to serve, love all, play. So Sung Ji Hyung getting this women's singles final underway. She's had an incredibly consistent year so far. As Sung Ji Hyung. Sabi Sobo, one, love. 
played all five Super Series tournaments and been in at least the semi-final of all of them. Most peculiar semi final that Sung Ji Hyung played yesterday against Zhang Bei Wen, dropping the second game 21 8. And then won the third convincingly. Yeah, both, both semi finals were dramatic Love. with um, injuries to. Yeah. Small injuries to Zhang Bei Wen and, and uh, Krem. The side of uh, Nichon Jindapong against Sato. Board love. Oh, that's a super shot. Jinda Pan also targeted four. that backhand side a number of times yesterday from her own forehand, mostly with smashes, but um, we know that Song Ji Hyun has the uh, slice drop as one of her favorite shots. Faster on court Five. here in the beginning, Sayaka Sato, compared to uh, Sung Ji Hyun. Yeah, I always think Sung Ji Hyun looks as if she hasn't warmed up properly. I, <laughs> I know she must have done, but uh, she just has that that look about her so often at the start of matches. Yes, she does. Probably also Six. a bit of nerves, wow. but I mean that should also. Uh, go for, for Sato. Yeah. And and it seems like she started out as um, if she's gonna make the most of this opportunity that she's created for herself here. Top is normal. Two, six. She's a very athletic player, is Sayaka Sato. Seven, seven, three. Oh, you were saying in the men's singles, team, good conditioning of all the Japanese yeah. players, and that applies to the women's singles players as well. I saw all disciplines. All disciplines. I saw a little bit of um, a quarterfinal against Akane Yamaguchi, and, and she played extremely fast Eight, there. Three. Casato.
Oh, yes. That's a lovely play. Here's an interesting stat, Steen. In the 35-year history Double prior to this year of the four, Indonesian Open, nine. no left-hander has ever won the women's singles title. I was thinking about it earlier on in the game, and then I thought, nah, Marin won the World Championships, so there's probably uh, some others that has won the women's singles, perhaps uh, Wang Xin or one of those Chinese players there. No. Nope. And of course, no player from Japan has ever won the women's singles title here. Won the women's doubles and the men's singles. Good shot. Yeah, very good shot. Again, this cross from uh, Korean forehand side Big. to the Japanese backhand Nine. side. Good thing for Sata would be if she could cross back once in a while, then she would create problems for uh, Song Ji Hyun, I'm sure. Well, there was a little look there from Sung Ji Hyun, perhaps considering whether she was going to challenge or not, but it's now far too late. late. Oh, what a start from Sayaka Sato. Five point advantage at the mid game interval. Yeah, clearly wide. Some Ji Hyun's coach. Japan actually had a finalist in the women's singles in the very first Indonesian Open back in 1982. Sumiko Kiptada. You remember her? She she was manager of the Japanese teams at the Thomas and Uber Cup of 2014. <laughs> What do you think Sung Ji Hyung's got to do here, Steen, Seven, to turn this around? 11. She's on the right track, definitely. She's playing at a faster pace now. That's gone long. Um, normally, she wouldn't really benefit from the conditions that have been here this week. But Eight, um, but she, she's managed to do well. And, and um, she, normally, she's a very precise player. Right. So uh, if she can get her shots to the baseline of Sakasatsu in and... and uh, put pressure on her there and look for opportunities to, to play downwards. I mean, you've got to play downwards still, no doubt about it. Excellent. Yeah, it's well played. And in my opinion, the backhand side of Versa uh, Akasato is a little bit vulnerable. Uh, nothing terribly dangerous happens from the backhand side. 
deep, you mean? Uh, flat. Yeah, uh, no, okay. Especially deep, but she's very good at coming around uh, to the round of headshots. Right. But if you put pressure on her, I, I feel that she, she has a little bit bigger arm swing than some of the players we see. For instance, uh, Nichan Jindapon that she played yesterday. Very, very short back swing and so on. Sato needs a bit more. It's going wide. Oh, taking it. Oh, that's a super shot. But this is a, a type of rally that we haven't seen all tournament in, in women's singles. Mm. Good shot. What a rally! My goodness me, probably the longest rally of the match so far as well. Excellent shot quality from Sarah uh, Casato in this rally. And there was a couple of clears to the round the head position of Sato, yeah. which yeah. was exactly what you've been talking about. Yeah, and, and even better if, if she can, if Sung can um, uh, get her to play the backhand. That to do that, she would have to attack a little bit to the forehand side first and then play uh, long to the backhand side. Drop shots or attacking Drop shots to the forehand side. Just to Nine. move her to the left side there and then exploit play. the uh, open area in the backhand corner. But it, this can be a, a whole different match from what I've expected. Oh, that's perfect. Precision. Ten, twelve. Well played, well played. Stop it, Robo. 13, 10. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. It was going to land well in. Sato only deciding to play it. It's far too late. 11, 14. It's a delightful cross court. Defensive shot, though. Fifteen, eleven. Yeah. 
little unprecise clear from Song ji Hyun and immediately punished by uh, Sato. Excellent play. 11. Yeah, and that good start right at the start of the match. He's been able to keep that sort of lead all yeah. the way through. Yeah, even though Song ji Hyun was trying to claw back. I mean, yeah. scoring um, consecutive points, many consecutive points, isn't that easy. And eventually, you aren't going to make a mistake. You aren't going to have a little lapse of concentration and so on. Missed it. Yeah, she earned that one. Yeah. Sato earned that one with her retrieval on uh, the drop shot. So definitely felt 11. she had to go close to the line to win it. Play. Oh, it's just wide by a whisker. Seven double, 12, 17. Yeah, good call, line judge. It's the sidelining question, not the back line there. Doesn't actually have the best of records in Super Series tournament finals, Play. Sung Ji Hyung, which sounds awfully harsh because there's been so many good players that she's come up against. Uh, the only two Super Series titles she's won have both been on home soil. 2013 career and then a couple of years ago as well in her home country. Yeah, no normally the, the hole in Korea is, is playing a little bit slow, which benefits the playing style. The, the sort of um, natural playing style of, of Song Ji Hyun, which is more patient, uh, build up the attack 13, and so on. 17. Uh, and, and, and then also, I mean, she's been to a number of finals, but, but she hasn't been as good compared to the other players as she is right now, in my opinion. Yeah. So she has, in, in, in other words, been the underdog and lost as the underdog. Yes. The, the, and, and it's a terrible decision. And there's no way that would have uh, been in yesterday. No. So, so uh, the, 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 the game has totally changed. I mean, both of these players are, are capable of playing it. I, I think they actually prefer these circumstances here. But anyway, they've taken themselves to the final with a whole lot of side, side drift. And suddenly it's gone. Yeah. And lengthways drift, which I don't think is... It's not that significant either. No. no. Short, short clear from uh, Song ji Shun. Yeah. Well, played herself into trouble there, Song ji Hyung. And Sato is 13. just too quick to be deceived by that. Look at that defence from forehand side, switching and having to go to the backhand side, and she's ready for it. And we, and we discussed this with the Korean players, that they're um, mentally, that they might be a little bit exhausted after winning that uh, world championship for, for mixed team in the mm. I'm wondering whether first game loss could um, could mean a, a match loss for um, for Song ji that, that she isn't able to bounce point. back. Also, we saw yesterday that she totally lost uh, concentration or uh, focus against Jiang Bei Wen after dominating the first game. Yeah. Oh, that's delightful. What an excellent opening game by the left-handed Sayaka Sato, 21-13. 22 minutes, and the beaten finalist 
from seven years ago is off to the perfect start here in today's final. from Korea but now coaching in Japan. Yeah, and, and even more interesting here in, in the Korean camp, we can see that um, it's the Indonesian coach uh, that is uh, alone on the chair today, uh, Kim Ji Hyun, is not here. And from what I heard, um, they're speaking English uh, in, the, in the coaching, and, and um, th I think there could be some things lost in translation there. Yes, and the reason why Kim Ji Hyun isn't here is the most of the Korean players are staying on the same hotel floor as, yeah. uh, as us, and I saw them all with their suitcases ready to depart as we were coming down to the stadium. So they're already on their way to Sydney, Australia. Yeah, because the uh, the best connection UAB, is uh, direct UAB, flight uh, from um, from Jakarta to Sydney, but it's still seven and a half hours or something like that. Leaves yeah. at eight o'clock. Yeah. I know the Danish coach is also scheduled for that flight, um, and definitely the coach of the men's doubles won't make it. And mm. I'm not sure uh, Song Ji Jung will make it either, or, or Sato. No, they certainly won't. It's gone six o'clock so, now. So. Um, even though the tournaments are, are close in, in terms of dates, it's not really close in terms of uh, geographical um, distance. So they'll be at a huge Second disadvantage, game. these two players Lowell. in Australia, where they Lowell. have to play Indian opposition, both of them. Mm. Sato against um, PV Sindhu and uh, Song Ji Shun against Sana Nival in the first round. Gosh, there's a couple of tough draws, aren't they? Well, there's that clear, yeah. played with pace that you were talking about, down to that Double backhand goal. corner of One. Sato. Love. Because the, then Sato can't really um, play back, or at least it would require something that we haven't seen, that she's moving her racket a bit faster, uh, not moving the arm as much. She would be able to only block it uh, for a drop shot, and that would allow Sung Ji to take over the initiative in the rally. She earned that luck, didn't she? Yeah. And, I mean, of course, this was perfect. Double it hit the net and, and one. fell over. Oh. But even if it hadn't, I mean, it would have been a pity, but I would have accepted a net shot, a netted shot. But she got to send a signal to Sung that she's following up. She's going to be there once again. Yeah. Two, one. Excellent. Uh, that was a little bit of an answer to what I've been Three, um, one. asking for because there was that uh, quick racket movement, quick release of the steep smash. Four, two. 
the whole body language yeah. difference between the two players is stark. Yeah, but I, I, I don't understand the game right now of, of Song ji she, she plays one clear and Five, she's totally two. taking that cross smash from uh, right. her forehand side towards Sato's backhand side. That's totally out of her game. She hasn't used it for a long while. And in, even if it's not a winner, then nothing bad happens from Sato. You just have to, and you can move immediately because you have to go to the short backhand corner afterwards. No. Sabitobo, three, five. into that round the head position you're right Steen you mentioned it earlier it doesn't look that smooth yeah. and I don't know whether that's because of perhaps both the ankle surgery and the knee surgery but she doesn't look altogether Three comfortable five. getting out of that it doesn't deep seem like that but yeah. again sometimes when we when we have left-handed players our eyes deceives us a little bit so if mm. you can actually one of the programs um, the video programs on the internet lets you um, uh, mirror the picture so you see Sayaka Sato as a right-handed player and it's actually quite fun because then um, she looks exactly uh, right-handed style There's not, we tend to say that left-handed players have a certain style a certain touch but if you mirror them mm. they haven't whereas if you mirror Song Ji Hyun here she would look like a real lefty yeah gonna attack yeah she's gonna have a skin attack to the forehand side first to open that backhand corner up I mean of course she can play from the backhand side so this is a super serious final well that was a tired looking mistake to me Six, and uh, I think I think actually can can play a big role now that um, if I'm correct, then play. her coach is speaking English um, because I've tried uh, coaching in a third language. Me that means coaching non-Danish players and non-English players in English. Mm. And, and that's really, really challenging because th there's so many codes. When, when coaches talk to players, there's so many small codes and abbreviations used. Mm. And, and that's lost. And you have to, if, if you want to help the player, you have to try to get your idea from your head into the player's head. And that, that's really, really difficult when it's done in a third language. Rally. She's going wide. Yeah. Yeah. She has the physical um, advantage, Sayaka Sato, in my opinion. She looks much more fresh Seven, than uh, four. Song Ji Jun. Longest rally of this second game. down the net and my theory Eight, about four. physical f fatigue and your theory about emotional fatigue after the Sudaman Cup victory right. for Korea I think it's perhaps all taking its toll yeah and uh, I just think that uh, Kim Ji-jun 
also means a lot uh, for, for, for Sung when, when she's at the chair. Um, she was coaching when Korea won the Uber Cup. Mm. And, and she's been coaching in Europe and I know her and she's a very, very good coach. She's done an excellent job with some of the European women singles players. Kim Ji Hyun. Yeah. Yeah. But of course, it could also just be nervousness uh, because she feels that she should win this Premier Super Series, her Five, first outside of eight. Korea, leading 12 1 in um, head to heads. Yes. You would be reasonably devastated if you lost. Absolutely. Yeah, well, it's her eighth Super Series tournament final. I mean, she's going to be number two on the world ranking, regardless of whether she wins this final or not. And she's going to be number one on the Super Series standings, regardless of whether she fin wins this final or not. So she's, you know, she can give all of her concentration yeah. uh, to this final. Six, eight. But I think your point about most of the finals she's played Play. at Super Series level up until now, she's been the underdog. I think that's perhaps a huge factor because she is overwhelming favorite here. Yeah. That's landed in. So, so right now she's playing that backhand and, and, and targeting it. She hasn't really gotten the real benefits Seven, from it yet. Eight. This was, of course, uh, uh, a one rally. But so far, Sato has, has uh, covered it well. But um, at least it goes a little bit better than just um, playing some other tactics. It's making it a little bit diff more difficult for Sayaka Sato. Oh, she's got the luck there. Yeah. But again, I felt she created her own luck. I mean, as she came forward, look at her racket carriage, high, yeah. Yeah. stretching out, taking it as early as she possibly could. Was that going towards the right the hip? Yeah. Uh, or body smash, or what was it? Right hip body smash. Was body smash. I'm not sure where it would have hit. I think maybe to the left hit, mm. which was, in my opinion, even better. Ball. Nine, ten. That's the opposite. Here. Very difficult to cover that one because she's sort of waiting with her forehand. Play. And then it comes to the right hip of Sayaka Sato because she plays with the left hand. Oh, back 
Bravo. Then all. No shot again. Force the error. Good call as well. Yeah. He's been playing excellently at the net. Uh, Sayaka Sato here in the picture. Yeah. And has the advantage, albeit just one solitary point. The advantage nonetheless here in the second game. Look at that again. Uh, it's very difficult to tell the sideline from that angle, isn't it? You're right about that at the net, Jill, that she's taking it as early as possible. A um, number of players could learn from that. Mm. as the last, very last player, Sayaka Sato. Originally only uh, qualified ten. three players, but and Sato wasn't selected, but um, then some other players uh, declined the entry and Sato was asked to participate. Yeah, it's good work, isn't it? And that, that's, uh, that's the difficult thing for, for Sung now. That, I mean, the Japanese coaches, they've seen that, that the backhand side is being targeted. So they've discussed what are you going to do about it. And one of the good things is to just play downward shot. Thank you. So that Sung can't attack it um, anymore. No, no speed, um, not close to anything. Can be long into the court. That's actually beneficial. Uh, thing if it's uh, a little bit long, just below the tape, so Sung is not able to play an attacking shot at her. Yeah, look at the body language of Sato, really fired up, urging Go herself team. on. Sung Ji Hyung is in big trouble here. 14, 10. That's the way to do it. This time she got the real pressure on, uh, on Sayaka Sato in the backhand side and made her play a backhand shot. And there's a 11, huge difference 14. between when she plays the round the head and this shot here. That leaves total initiative with uh, Song Ji Hyun. Play. Water back, awful 14. lot of pressure on her right leg there. Well, 
she's hanging in there soon. She is. 13, 14. Stress um, Sato a little bit when, when she's got these forehand shots in other areas of the court that she wants to do something whenever she has the chance. That's well played, that's well played. Yeah, terrific follow up. All stemmed, in my opinion, Double from the net shot, 15, which was before this. Yeah. Challenge here. I didn't see the line judge make line a call at all. No, he was very, very hesitant. Well, he's Not now there, called no. it in. So Sato is challenging, but the line judge didn't actually make the call to start with. And it was out. Great challenge. Oh. 16, 13. There's something going on in the Japanese camp. Park uh, Jubong was out of his coaching chair a while ago and, and called on some of the players. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think maybe they're getting some ice packs and so on. I don't think it will be necessary. You think she'll win in two? I, I think she she's going to finish it in two. Oh. That's a good shot. We haven't seen it in a long time. Are the Japanese teammates still here then? They haven't gone to Australia. Um, yeah, it, it might be the Fisio or something. Yes. I can yeah. see some Japanese. Uh, T-shirts. Yeah. Look how she's transferred her body weight as she played that shot. Stop it, over. 14, 16. But it's really difficult when you've got to travel that long distance. Play. Um, with to hurry yourself and get there or just relax and, and take it as it comes. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you see the way the racket bent there as she <laughs> leant on it in that lunge position. Play. She was, in my opinion, she was uh, showing very much frustration over that rally, Sayaka Sato, which, in my opinion, is not necessary at all. I mean, she's having a 17-15 lead in the second game. She's one game up. Things are going her way. That's a little bit of a sign that uh, nerves might be uh, a factor here towards the end of the game. Yeah. But it also gives her her opponent yes. a little bit of encouragement. Yes, I'm still in it. Yeah. That, that's what it says to uh, Song Jishun. You're still in it. And now we have a challenge that's probably going to be wasted. Sayaka challenges for Al. Perhaps an 
emotional challenge. Perhaps a challenge just to give herself a bit of a, a breathing space, but it was clearly out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 16, 17. Yes, please. Long, Sung Ji Hyung is back level. But, but look at her there, look at the frustration. It's like she's lost a match. Yeah. She's only lost a point and the score is even. Four more points and she's the champion. Play. as she tried to play that drop shot. And four straight points Eight for Sanji Young. Wow. Yeah, when you consider she was 10-14 down. And 13-16, where I thought yeah. uh, no, no need for the ice pack. Mm. Jinxed it. Mistakes. She's not giving Son a chance to make a mistake. She needs a little bit of luck now, the Japanese girl, if she's to uh, win this in uh, straight games. second game 21 17 extraordinary what a brilliant comeback by sung ji hyun but i suspect steen as we watch that final rally again that your point about the expression of disappointment was a very positive effect on her opponent on sung ji hyun yeah i don't think actually i don't think sung scored a point herself from there she just let Sung Ji Jun make the mistake uh Saka Sato make the mistakes. Yeah. Fifty one minutes and it's one game all and uh, I mean I don't think she's coming back from this uh, Saka Sato. It would be uh, an amazing uh, achievement if she did and right now uh, the Korean camp here, they must feel really, really um, good because if, um, if Sato 
sort of cracked or crumbled under the pressure of being 17 15 up and one game up to win the match then, then how is she going to win it now what if she gets 17 15 again and gets close she's going to be nervous again And there's one thing, and I know it's premature, but I can tell you that Sayaka Sato is, uh, has been thinking about it, and I can tell you all the other Japanese girls are thinking about it. It's premature for all the others here, but there are only two spots for the Japanese Olympic team mm. in 2020. Yeah. And there's a lot of good players, and they all want to make those two spots. Yeah. Final game, love all. Play. So one game all. Sun Ji Hyung coming from 10-14 down in that second game to win it 21-17. So we're going to be treated to this decider. And one of the things that can happen is, of course, the, the opposite, that, uh, that Sung also gets nervous. Yes, or maybe thinks that the hard work has already been done and therefore just takes her foot off the pedal yeah. a little bit. So many variables. One, oh. Rally. Oh, that's a brilliant drop shot. My goodness me. Quality shots throughout the rally from both players. Two, one. Well, this is good character, I think, from Sato. Yeah. Because Four, the one. disappointment at losing that second game was all too obvious. And to start this deciding game in positive fashion is showing good character. Would you, would you shoot? One, one. 
No. I was being told to disperse the perspiration on the court surface by scuffing it with their feet. Young hasn't made a challenge all match. Yeah, good smash. That's what you Two. were suggesting in the second game when she is forced to play from the round the head shot, just get it going in a downward direction. But that was a perfect drop shot. Perfect drop shot. And I think Park is signaling that it's really good if he if she can get a little bit of deception on it. So if Sung bites on that deception, she'll be very late if she catches it at all. I think Song has, from the beginning of this third game, she's deferred from putting enough pressure on the backhand side. She's played it a couple of times, Seven, and then said, oh two. yeah, maybe it's not working that well, and so on. But that was, that was what kept her in the game. Yeah. Or not losing it quickly. Uh, so that she was on 15-17. Uh, oh. Whoa. The match clock ticks Three, over the hour mark. Seven. But it's shut like that. I mean, look at this, the reverse slice. If she can mix that up with the clear to the backhand side, then Sayaka Sato, she's in real big problems. I think has confirmed that there is no drift to yeah. sideways. No drift. In. And, and Sung is hoping that it suddenly is back. The side drift taking it out. Great effort. I must say, she, she's yeah. done far better than I thought she would, Sayaka Sato, here in the third game. Yesterday, she was down one game under the 6 11 against Important rally too. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, look at Sato. That hurt physically. Yeah, she's very expressive, isn't she? Yeah. But nothing, nothing wrong with that as long as it doesn't Play. affect her. And she's totally... Uh, 
ready and alert for the next rally. That's a difficult thing to sort of get your emotions out without letting them affect the things coming next. Yeah. Cool challenge here. This is the first challenge of the match from Sun Chi Hyung. Challenges called out. It's out. Maybe it just catches the line. Oh, it's out. It's out. Well, we'll wait for Hawkeye. Hawkeye's on the giant screen, but we're not seeing it. Hawkeye's stuck on the giant screen. Oh, here we go. Yeah. That was a challenge because she needed it, and not because she really believed that it um, was in. that um, Sato is beginning to have the same emotions Six, as in the nine. later part of the second game. You like that body smash, don't you? Yeah. Seven, 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 ten. Body or to the backhand side? When, when uh, the smashes are to the forehand side of Sato, it should only be as, as to disguise the body smashes and the backhand side smashes. Uh, she's she wanted to challenge, but I think she remembered that she only had one left. Well, I thought I thought that was definitely in. Yeah. Without any shadow of a doubt. It'd be nice to see it again, and we could judge it. from that angle. But if I had to make a call, I'd call it in. They've got themselves a little ice bag. <laughs> the Japanese 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah. So will a four-point advantage be enough as far as Sayaka Sato is concerned? Remember, she had that four point advantage in the second game, having already won the first and couldn't convert. Eleven, seven, play.
Oh, that's a shocking serve. Uh, change. Uh, have Robin you noticed Hall. any of those yeah. serves uh, early luck. on in the match? Not particularly, no. Uh. I didn't. I do remember one from Sato that bounced off the net and landed well in. Yeah, that's serve. right. That's right. David Bobo, Wal, A. Shot. That's terrific. Absolutely brilliant. Down. No, not yet out. Look at this angle. That's terrific. Play with disguise as well. Thank you, Mopper. attendant has been asked to return because still some perspiration thank you Sato side of the court the the delay. Nine, 12. Yeah. goes down as a missed opportunity from yeah. Sanji Young. 13, 9. She read correctly. She hasn't had the lead yet in this match. Always been behind or level. Desperately trying to take it early again at the net, Sato. Mm, credit trouble. to her for ben trying to do 13. so, but I wonder if that error on the net shot might be extremely costly. Play. Do you remember that Double in the solo. second game? 14. <laughs> <laughs> Same score line. It's game number two. Oh, she finds Great the line. Smash. Great smash. She's about to open 15, up uh, a 10. big enough cushion to to complete this fantastic uh, effort. Wow. Wow. Gosh, how did she get away with that? That was a, a woeful serve. 16, 10. In. Oh. Hey, welcome to challenge. Still got one left. Yeah. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. She must know that was in.
practice wide. Well, it's been a monumental effort Double from four. Sato. 17. When you can think of all the injury problems that she's had, she's had to come back through the international challenger events, the Grand Prix events, the Grand Prix gold events. And she is only four points away from her first ever Super Series title. Take that three points away. Well, Sato has been more proactive of the two today. Much more, much more. It's a fantastic effort to come back here. I don't think she's going to let it slip away now. I said that in the <laughs> second game as well. But I felt that 18 with a big cushion, that was, that, that, that's the, um, yeah. that's the important thing. Now she, she's speedy and if she should lose one or two points, she's still very, got a very healthy lead. Yeah. So soon she let it slip away at 13, 10 or something like that. She should have hung in there and she couldn't do it. She couldn't do it, and, 19, and um, 11. that's uh, all credit to Sato. Two tantalizing points from the title. Service over, 12, 19. What was the reaction up down in 14, the All England against Carolina Marin? 1911. 1911. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I think she's starting 11. to feel the nerves again. Uh, Sato. Sato, but um, it's a tough task for, for Sung to, to get it together. Still five points adrift. Oh, super. On the verge of victory. Sayaka Sato. Six match point opportunities. Twenty. Match point 14. It's gone long. Yeah. And seven years after she was beaten in the final here at the Indonesian Open, emotion overcomes Sayaka Sato. All the injury woes, the fight back from injury after injury. And it's all come good here in Jakarta. She takes her first ever Super Series title in only her second final. And for Japan, well, it's been 36 years in the waiting to have a champion of the women's singles here at the Indonesian Open. What a way to win the title. Unseeded. She has battled through round after round. 
They've beaten three seeded players now to win the title and a very deserved champion. 21-13, 17-21, 21-14 in the deciding game. Well, the emotion quite clear. What a story. I can feel your emotion. So my first question is gonna be, what is your strategy that you used to win this Indonesia Open 2017? This ですね。ま、1戦1戦本当に苦しい戦いだったんですけど、ま、そこ本当にコーチと一緒に我慢して戦うことができたのが本当に優勝につながったと思います。Jadi menurut saya sangat sulit dalam pertandingan beberapa pertandingan itu. Jadi dia bersama pelatih dapat bersabar dalam pertandingan itu sangat bersangkutan dengan kemenangan kali ini. Okay, so there is a special preparation for that, ya, yeah, between collaboration with her and the coach, ya. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, second question, who is your hardest opponent in BCA Indonesia Open 2017? Uh, lawan ya dalam setiap pertandingan itu lawan yang kuat menurut saya dan di situ saya berusaha keras untuk menjadi pemenang. So there is no specific hardest opponent because every opponent is hard for her. Okay, thank you once again. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the winners of Women's Single Final, BCA Indonesia Open 2017! We'd like to invite the winners to come to our stage to receive the medals and gifts for this event. The runner-up from South Korea, Sung Ji Hyun. Disappointments for and Sung Ji Hyun. And number one from Japan, Sayaka Sato. But what a day for Japan Sayaka Sato. Her first ever Please Super welcome. Series Mr. title. Mirato. Seven Sato years Sato after Pepe, Pepe. she first appeared in a Super Series final. And it was here at the Indonesian Open as well. Well, for Sung Ji Hyung, an eighth Super Series tournament final today. And for a sixth time, she has to settle for second best. For Sayaka Sato, first player from Japan to win the women's singles title here, despite being the fifth player from her country to contest the women's singles final. And the first ever left-hander to win the women's singles title here at the Indonesian Open. Mr. Arman W. Hartono.
hand over the trophy. Please welcome Mr. Sean Levine as Head of Government Relation, Southeast Asia MetLife. And to hand over the watch from Blibli.com and a speaker from Polytron. Please welcome Mr. Jeffrey Maeda, Senior Vice President, Blibli.com. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for the winners of Women's Single Final BCA Indonesia Open 2017. women's singles from uh, Sayaka Sato and that's quite understandable given everything she's been through uh, to win a Super Series title is quite remarkable. So three uh, finals complete and uh, the title's going to players from three different nations. It's still possible that all five titles could go to players from five different nations but of course it would require Boa Morgensen of Denmark to create history by becoming the first ever Europeans to win the men's doubles title here at the Indonesian Open. And it would also require the home favourites in the mixed doubles, the Olympic champions, Tantoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir, to beat the world number ones in the last final of the day. 
Well, with men's doubles coming up next, a chance for us to look at the destination Dubai rankings. And I can tell you that the number two on the list there, who are about to perform in the final, Ali and Liu, if they are, if they win today's final, they'll go to number one on that list. If they don't, they'll stay at number two. As far as Bo and Bogensen are concerned, well, they're currently at eight. Win or lose today's final, they'll go up four places to number four on that Super Series list. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, we had seven different nations involved, but only three seeds at quarter-final stage. Two uh, Chinese pairs in the top half of the draw, and what a thrilling semi-final that was. That finished at about quarter to one this morning. But in the bottom half of the draw, of course, home fans were disappointed because Bo and Mogan Suhan, who are currently the world number ones, came through in three games against Alfia and Ardianto. And now, so the men's doubles final. It is the world number ones, Bo and Mogensen, Whoa, against the current world China. number twos, Legion Huey and Liu Chen. And if the Chinese pair were to win today's final, they will overtake Bo and Morganson on the world rankings by a tiny margin, 47 points. So not only the title to play for, but the world number one ranking. And Liu Yuten are ranked number two at BWF 